All right. Hey, what's up? It's Christine Horn, professional working actress and life and career coach for actors. This is another episode of Actor Success Story, where I shine the light on some of my amazing clients who are doing amazing things. Today, I have the lovely Ursula O. Robinson. Hey, Ursula. Hi, Christine. Thank you for taking the time to do this and letting me shine some light on you because I know you're busy. Really quick, tell everybody watching who you are and where you are and what you do. Okay. I'm Ursula O. Robinson, and I'm in Orangeburg, the big metropolis of Orangeburg, <laughs> South Carolina. <laughs> and um, I'm a professional actress. I'm also an educator. I'm also a professor. I'm also a writer. A a comedian. Writer. Yeah, comedian. Um, <laughs> I like to tell jokes. I've been teaching for like over 25 years. So you know that I have lots of jokes. And I tell my <laughs> students in class, hey, baby, be careful. Because I'm a comedian. I will come get you. Right. You may <laughs> like, end up in one of my skits. <laughs> right. That's good. And my family and friends, they, um, they're very careful, too, because they, they have a tendency to find themselves sometimes in my plays and in my <laughs> skits and stuff. <laughs> And my ex, and they go, Ursula. I'm like, hey. It's fair game. Full of fair game. Good. <laughs> I <laughs> love it. Full of fair game for me, so. I yeah. love, love. And you, you guys, Ursula, I'm going to share her links above or below this video. And she does some. Um, she has so many you have so many characters um I, the one that i mean there's so many but i think of zenobia backslider that's one of your yes, characters. yes 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 <laughs> so zenobia. you have to, you have to follow her to see what i'm talking about it'll make more sense um you know the purpose of this whole six uh, actor's success story is i def i want to so many of you have inspiring stories and there's someone sitting at home whether it's in South Carolina or Boston or Los Angeles and feeling frustrated in, with their career or where it's headed or not feeling inspired, which is why I wanted to do this. And I feel like you have an interesting story, Ursula, based on your location and how you've just been managing, like even though it might be a small town, you still found a way to start pushing through. But before we started working together, um, or I don't, how did I get on your radar? Like, where did you feel like you were struggling or felt frustrated in your acting career? Well, um, I met you through Arisha. Oh, and yes, so, Arisha. Yeah, Arisha, yeah. So Arisha is like, and it's funny how that even that connection with Arisha came through um, a playwright. Okay. Because I've had the opportunity to come and be like an acting coach for um, uh, Tangy and Wild Productions in Columbia, South Carolina. Okay. And so that at Arisha and Arisha was one day talking about she was self-taping and there was things she wanted to do and I was like Arisha look I'm struggling in Orangeburg oh excuse me I hit my little camera ooh ooh you're good you're good I've been sometimes shout out to Arisha Connor <laughs> <laughs> and um and then she was telling me her resources and the people and she told me about you she's like oh yeah look her up and so when I looked you up I was like oh yes honey this right here is just great it is, it's just wonderful and i think the thing that really took me over into just really being committed to the mama technique was the fact that i had a first i was in the hollywood bound okay because you know i get the two names it's okay yeah you, the, you the hollywood doing the hollywood bound actors why okay good Right. We have a, for those of you listening, we have a, a free Facebook group that's very supportive. Actors from all over the world. It's called Hollywood Bound Actors. So that's something you can join if you're not a member. So you started there, and then you started came over to the book and Magnet you Academy. Gave, um, you were giving out an opportunity for people to have a one on one, and we had a one on one. And in that one on one, and I'm telling you, okay, listen, people, when you come to Miss Christine, Miss Tr Miss Christine is going to give it to you straight. <laughs> but she's going to be loving with it, but she's going to be straight and she's going to tell you what you need to hear. And what I loved about it is that in that conversation, I was saying, well, this and that. And you said, oh, okay. So that's what you've been telling yourself. <laughs> and like, oh, no, 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 that's what you've been telling yourself. And I'm like, well, maybe, maybe that is what I've been telling myself. And maybe that's what, you know. And I do realize too that I needed more refinement in 
in this particular medium. And yeah. I also needed to pass that on to my students. Mm. The industry changes so much. So if you have been doing something a year ago, they're not doing the same thing a year ago right. that they're doing, doing now what they were doing a year ago it changes so much and what i love about being part of the booking magnet academy is that your classes are at your own pace so to speak but also to their relevant you relate it to the work that you're already doing and we get opportunity to see you um, do what you are teaching us right but also to you as a person are very direct but not it's not just a directness it's that you're a coach a real coach where you see us all as champions yes you are trying to talk us into believing in the champion that is inside of us. And that is what I love. Ooh, um, that's I a good one right there. Because <laughs> I believe that I am the greatest Ursula O. Robinson that Absolutely. ever lived. Absolutely. And I believe that the first Ursula, Andrus, of course, was just paving the way for this Ursula. Yeah. So um, being a part of both entities and also being a part of the live question and answer um, sessions mm -hmm. and all those other great things have been invaluable to me because it has helped me not only be current but it has been encouraging i have used the techniques even in creating content and oh this is something else too that um <laughs> that miss christine loves she will push you to do don't wait until you are perfect. Right. Because we'll never do it otherwise. You'll never do it, right? Mm -hmm. You'll never do it. So do it. And so that encouragement has helped me because sometimes in terms of production, I'm like, oh, the lighting is this and it is. Hey, put it out there. Right. And I think about it too is that I say the same thing to my students. I say, well, sometimes maybe your outfit or maybe this, but people can recognize talent. Exactly. And what they, people need to recognize when we are doing this, working with this medium, is your ability to master the camera. Mm -hmm. And this is something you time. also do a lot of times. Like, they, this is your friend. What do you do with this into the, this thing, Bobby, here? What right. are you doing with that? That's what they're looking at. They may forgive other little things, but they will see that you have mastered the camera and that is exactly what you teach and she also does not let you sit down and be complacent <laughs> he, honey you keep i will call you out he's <laughs> like y'all not going through these portals fast enough so what i'm going to do they're only going to stay there for a minute and then it's going to be gone so you cannot even relax and so and it's beautiful and i also learned from you too because as an educator and as a um, acting coach and a, a theater professor I have thought like, oh my gosh, I can't be going and doing this and asking people, but I need a coach. Right, we all do. Coaches need coaches. Absolutely. And, and I have coaches in other areas of my life and I go and do these things. And so I really need a coach. And I turn my students on to you. Oh, I tell you. them <laughs> to, to go to your page to try to help them understand better the industry because I'm not doing it full time. I don't have my finger on the pulse of things. And it would be foolish of me to say to my students, hey, I know exactly what's happening and what's going on right. because I'm doing so many other things that I'm also working on this too. And on yesterday I had the chance to be on set. Yay, um, set. <laughs> Yes, set. <laughs> set live. <laughs> and so I was on set and um, I was a featured extra. So I was in the scene with um, lead characters. And, you know, sometimes as a, as a background person, you're not supposed to say anything. Mm -hmm. But I got to talk on this one. <laughs> nice, nice. I got to talk and to interact. But what I did pick up is the things that they were doing. And because of your teaching, I knew what was happening and what was going on. And I knew too 
also to make sure that I knew exactly where the camera was located, right. what they were picking up, what they were shooting, and the things. And I took chances and moved out and did some things. So you're going to see me. I can't take you the show right now, but you're going to see me at least, honey. I'll be able to be like, hmm, ooh. <laughs> Ursula, what I love about you hearing you talk is hearing your confidence. Because when you talked about that first time we had our one-on-one, -on -one and you were telling you were in your head, and this really resonates is why I wanted to showcase you. There's so many actors at home, people, but I'm gonna target actors who are letting their mind talk them out of so many things and saying, Oh, because I live here, oh, I'll never be able to. Oh, I mean, what's the point of going all out? Because the, you know, there's so many ways. So even the way you discussed or talked about your desires is totally different today than it was a year ago. Yeah. It, I mean, yeah. I just feel that through yeah. this computer. Yeah, and, I, and it's just because really, really in that moment when I was talking about you, I was really doubting because like um, all of my students and like a uh, gazillion people around the world, hey, I want to be famous. I want to have this. But I always, as a coach myself, I always make these, this speech that if you're going after this, for the fame, then sit down because right. the fame will only last you that the flame of fame may only last you through a couple of rounds, right. a year or two years. But if you are going after this because it is your passion and your purpose, then that's a whole different thing. And that passion and that purpose about this, because this is work, honey, this is <laughs> work this is different than um six weeks of rehearsal right or play it's a or, it's a journey yeah, it's, it's, it's not a sprint yeah and this i mean this is work and what you have illuminated to me so wonderfully is that it is levels so you think it's just you and the camera that's it but you also have to learn how to market yourself. You have to learn how to make connections with the right people. You have to learn about what it is that you're packaging. Mm -hmm. And it's so easy for us to look at someone else and tell them what they have. Okay, this, this, boom, boom, this, this. But when it comes down to doing it for me, it was not a easy thing for me to do. And so I was like, well, I like, I do this all the time. Why well, I can't do this? But that's why. You get a coach. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Ursula, I want to thank you so much. You've given so many nuggets, and I think you, I not, I think, I know you've inspired somebody. Um, so one, one closing question that I like to ask everybody, you kind of mm -hmm. already touched on it. For that actor sitting at home who, and this isn't even about working with me, just any, just speaking life into them who think, I don't have what it takes just because I live, I don't live in a big market. Cause I hear that a lot. Oh. Um, and I like, what advice would you give them? Because some people may feel like, why even bother trying? Because I'm not in New York or Los Angeles. What would you, what words of wisdom would you impart on them? Okay. Getting all emotional. <clears throat> and I tell people all the time. I get paid to be connected to my emotions. Mm -hmm. um, think about your life. What kind of life are you living when you can't live your dream? Mm. You have suppressed, pushed down your desires because it didn't seem right for the people around you or it didn't seem right for the situation and the circumstances that you could see with your natural eye. But if you believe enough in the dream and you step out, how much more joy could you bring into your life? Don't think about success being, and I just read this this morning, success is not you being famous, people seeing you and recognize you. Success is walking out your divine purpose. Mm -hmm. So maybe your purpose here is to work in this industry, but not necessarily be um, the Will Smith, the new Will Smith or the new um, 
uh, Lord, someone else, uh, or whatever that is, the fame and the fortune and those kind of things. But maybe your purpose is also in the end, but doing it in another way. Right. So you can sit at home and you can keep that dream in your heart and live the rest of your life miserable because you didn't dare to step out. Mm. What kind of life can you live when you can't even live your dream? And for those of us, especially educators, because Arisha is also an educator, and we enable other people to live their dreams. Every day. Yeah you furnish the fire for someone else's dream and do not live yours how dare you how dare you just remove yourself from what god put you here on the earth to do do not do it brother sister cousin friend do not do it i tell you when i get excited i do my videos because it is my instant creative outlet i am not happy unless i am creating right i have to do it because my mind works in such a way that i'm creating stuff characters stuff all the time mm -hmm. and after a while your head can explode or you, you gotta be don't release it <laughs> This, these people are nutty, but creatives have to create. Yeah. And when you create for others, which I do all the time, creative ideas, people come to me, creative ideas, I do think tanks, I do, but this, oh, this, this is for me. Yes. Woo. On this that, on that note, I just, there's nothing else better you can even say. I think Ursula has spoken to your heart. She's, you've spoken to mine. And that is the truth. You, yeah, you're, ooh, I, I'm gonna have to pull the quote from that. Furnace, <laughs> flan, I can't even think. You got putting some other people's dream. I can't even, I gotta play it yeah. back. That was so good. Other people's dreams. How dare you not set the flame to your own? You give them the flame. Absolutely. For, for them, and you don't do your own. Yes. Speak when you are absolutely capable. <laughs> Ursula O. Robinson, the world, look out for her. Casting directors, look out for her. She's there. She's here. She's agents, everybody. She's super talented, super funny. And you got to see her heart and her soul right here, too. I think you'd be, you would make somebody's great uh, pastor on a show. Like a preacher. Oh, yes. I, yes. I'm going to just put that out there. I'm going to just sprinkle that out. Put that sprinkle seed out there in the world. Give me your sprinkle, honey. <laughs> I could be the pastor on Greenleaf. Right. Oh, Lord, all the children come together. <laughs> Yes, the Lord has been good. <laughs> right. <laughs> Guys, follow Ursula Robinson online. I have her links above or below. Ursula, thank you so much, sister. Oh, thank you. It's a pleasure getting to work with you. Listen, I just want to say this. I, gotta, look, I know you got a time limit and I'm over talking, but Miss Christine, thank you. I don't know how many people have ever said that to you, but thank you because you have not thought it to be robbery to share this with people that you are giving not only just information but your heart so that's a whole different perspective this is something you love and you are you are invested in us not just because of we 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 pay this money do this thing which is so small for what we get but you are invested in us being successful and you are so determined that no one will have to go through what you went through when you first started in this industry and i for your heart i thank you for that i thank you for that all right everybody we'll talk to you soon bye ursula thank you so much and i receive all that love have a good day all right you do the same bye